Now, today's another snow day. Let's see how much we got overnight. Oh my goodness, and it's still coming down. And the sun is trying to sneak over the clouds. It might actually turn into a pretty nice day. Let's see if the old 450 can climb the hill. I think it's probably a foot or two deep of snow. She had no problem getting up. I haven't heard from Boss Man this morning, but I think he's gonna meet us up here. We got a lot of snow to push. This is pretty nuts, and I'm guessing that's Boss Man in the dozer pushing snow. That's exactly what he would do. Morning, Boss Man, where you heading? Hey, 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 follow me, man, you'll see. As you guys can tell, we need some snowplow equipment, so that's number one on the to-do list today. Right now, we're literally using a cat bulldozer to push snow. I don't think that's the most efficient or good for our roads. One thing that's kind of nuts is my F450 honestly looks like equal size to the dozer, which is unbelievable. We're turning here, Big Spence. All right, where, where are we going, Jeremiah? Looks like Jeremiah's trying to get his car ready for work. He's not getting out of that driveway. Well, if you look up ahead down the road, I may have built something overnight. Wait, that wasn't there yesterday. It was not. I, I was busy. Did you get any sleep? You built that whole thing by yourself in one night. Yeah, obviously I didn't sleep. There's no time for that. Well, thanks for the escort, but if I get stuck, I got a chain and a dozer, I think I'll be fine. Holy Check it out, biscuits. Man. Four stalls, double doors. Oh, you can drive through it. Let's open up. How do, you, how do you, oh, it's push button open. Wow, this is pretty sweet. You already got some salt pallets here ready to go. Hydraulic press. We even got water. Is it, oh, we're empty. We don't have any water. We better shut this door. It's heated in here. Well, it's not like very warm, but enough so things don't freeze. This is gonna be a really nice shop to work on and we're gonna need some equipment to put in here. Yeah, I'm thinking we go get some kind of snow plows. Yes. That's what my thought was. It There's a guy going out of business. I saw on Craigslist last night. He's for sale down at the gas station. Just park the dozer right there, jump in. All righty. Here's what we gotta do. Help me get attached to the PJ trailer and fire up the skid loader. Okay, that's a weird request. Am I bringing the bucket? No, you can drop the bucket. We won't need it. Maybe later. Here we go. Load her up. That should be good. And here it is. He just posted it on Craigslist yesterday. So I think we're the first one to look at it. All right. That thing looks a little old. It's got a for sale sign on the window. Let me read it. Lodestar 1600. It's a 1965 year. He wants 12,000 for it. And there's his number. I'll give him a call. I just got off the phone with him, boss man. He'll be here in five minutes. Okay, I'm just opening everything up, taking a look under the hood. Yep. See what this thing looks like. Keys are in it. Obviously, it's a manual. Super nice. And then this baby can hold a lot of salt. So it's a salt spreader here. And that's going to work really nice after we get the roads cleared. Hopefully, the snowplow comes with it. I think it does. The paint is the only thing that's a little off for me. But it'll, it'll work for now. Well, hey, with the price that this thing costs, like we can just use the remaining money to just make this thing look better. And then also, boss man, I, they're separate. They're 12,000. But I think he wants two grand each for these pushers. Well, one's a pusher, then a snowblower. And there he is. All right. Nice to meet you. Very, very cool truck. Yeah, go ahead. You can start it. All right. It popped right off. That makes me pretty happy. I always hate stuff that doesn't start in the cold too well. Thanks for shutting the hood. I'm going to mess around with all these buttons, figure everything out. There's the lights. Okay, I see the strobe. Perfect. Those are bright. All right, I think I'm ready to go. Which one? Okay, that's plow up. That's plow down. Just make sure it's up. We don't want to scrape the ground. Just going to take it up the road and back, see how she drives. It's not quick by any means, but I think once you fill this with salt and sand in the back, the amount of like momentum and just traction we're going to have on the ground will be a bunch. This thing should be a plowing beast. Real quick, this is a private road. I'm going to drop the plow and see, see kind of how it does. There we go. We're pushing. That was kind of hard up a hill. And again, I got no weight in the back. So we are going to have as good a traction and we're still kind of making it through. This is a pretty big drift. There we go. Heck yeah. All right. This is doing pretty dang good. There we go. There we go. Okay. Not any further. They got a little construction site going on. All right. It passed my test. We'll head back and I think I will show them the money. All right. We'll just park it there for now. All right, I will take it. 12,000 for the truck. You're asking four for the blower and pusher. Could I meet you at 15 package deal? I got the cash right here. Perfect. Shake on it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Greg. Have a good one. Drive safe. There Greg goes. Interesting guy. Super nice. Load that baby up. Raise it a bit higher. Oh, no, you're good, actually. 
Boss man, I guess I shouldn't tell him. He's got years of experience in the skid loader. There we go. There's one. And then same thing. We could attach this, but it's probably going to stick out and we don't want to hit anybody. So throw it up on the trailer, drive the skid steer. We need to keep moving, boss man. Snow's coming down as we speak. I'm moving. I'm moving. Don't worry. All right. Back it up. Road's clear. Besides for me, I better get out of the way. Let's roll. Here we go. The fun begins. Drop the plow down and we got to clear our roads. Are you just getting right to it? I'm getting right to it. And remember, boss man, we still have to clear the airport. Oh, jeez. Man, we might need more equipment than this. Yeah, we might. But right now we're doing with what we can. And I needed an order of salt and sand in the back of this thing quick. Oh, yes, for sure. Okay, I will get that sorted right now. Check that baby out. This is sweet. I kind of thought Snowplow was a little small for this truck, but he was right. It works perfect. For now, I'm just clearing to there, boss man. We're going to get our private road done. All our parking lots. You know what? Honestly, the airport's probably the most important. All the flights are grounded right now until we get that baby cleared. You know, boss man, we did not have the best preparation. We have all this business, all this land, and we don't need to have a couple snow plows. Well, we have a building at least. So once we get them, we can put them somewhere. That's true. I think you're right. We need more equipment. Get the salt and buy some more equipment. Here we go. Let's get Jeremiah's driveway clear. This is pretty nice having a big old truck like this. Right, that should be good enough. He just needs to shovel for about 10 minutes and his driveway should be cleared. Push, push, push. We're getting to the entrance, which is kind of a lot of snow piled up right there. Come on, push, push, push. Turn in. Oh no, that's not good. I think we are stuck. What in tarnation is that? Holy biscuits. I think we're gonna be saved. I gotta get out of the way. What do you think? I think you're about to rescue me. Where the heck did you find this truck? Well, actually, someone at the airport sells these trucks. What are the chances, you know? That's what's so great about it being international. And Wait. they had some nearby. So he was stranded at the airport because we couldn't clear it. And so he's selling you this truck so that we can clear the airport and he can go home? Exactly. And it is a beast. It's called the Winter Wolf. Winter Wolf. It's got a winch back here if anybody gets stuck. Tire chains on every single tire. And look at the plow. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Two winches. They got a winch on the front as well. Well, let's get me loaded up with salt and out of the ditch. Wait, you're in the ditch? Kind oh, of. Oh, jeez, really. man. Really? I am what stuck. What is this? There we go. We're loading up with salt. Oh, this may take a while. That's right. We got some time. Well, we got her full of salt. And I don't know if that's actually going to help us get out of here, but I think with that truck, we'll be just fine. You ready? I'm we'll ready. Try not to damage anything. Well, how are you going to do this? We'll see. I'm hoping I can just hit the back end. Okay, let me try oh, reversing. Just push it with snow. There's there we a little go. something. It kind of got me level. Okay. Now I'm spinning. Push more. Oh, I'm spinning too. Okay, okay. Come uh, on. Just back out there. See, I, I worked a little bit. There we go. Okay. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I bottomed out. I just need to push in the front. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. How's that? Okay, you let good? me do my thing. Let me, uh, Don't get stuck again. No, now with the weight, man, I think we're going to be good. There will be no tire slippage here. Here we go. We'll work as a team. Drive side by side. This will be sweet. Let me shift in a second, and let's roll. Don't go too there quick. There we go. Dude, look at your snowbank compared to mine. Yeah, this thing is a powerhouse, but yours will be able to get a lot smaller of areas than this thing can. And I'm spreading just a little bit of salt back there, so anything we miss should melt pretty soon. Look at that. We ain't getting stuck. I just went over a huge snow pile. Here we go. Let's clean the entrance on here. Heck yeah, snowblowers are the, are the best. There we go. Sweet. This thing eats. We gotta decide where we want to build all the snow banks. I know, we have too much snow and too much, like, area to clean all at once. Maybe we should start a bonfire and just start melting it. Yeah, I don't know how, how that'll work, but good idea. What do you think? A couple more, like, 30 minutes around here, and we would head off to the airport. Yep, I was able to do a little bit at the airport just when I was driving out, but there's still a lot more to do, like, clear all the runways. Here we go, boss man made me a big old pile here. We're knocking it out. The nice part is it's good, loose, fluffy snow, so it's pretty easy to move. Oh, Spencer, I forgot to tell you, uh, we have a big order coming in. It's going to be for a wheel loader and a bucket that should be, or I guess a plow, that should be able to handle a good amount of this snow. Perfect. So, yeah, wheel loader at the airport, that's going to come in handy. And there she is, semi-truck just pulled out of here. He dropped off of a huge Volvo wheel loader. And check out this snowblower. This thing will eat huge drifts. And I think it's just going to make the runway perfect. Here we go. 
It's not super wide, but I don't think you can make them this wide when you got deep powder like this. Holy cow, it's throwing it like 200 feet to my right. This is nuts. And that's the view. We got the wiper going full blast. Boss man somewhere around here. There's an airplane totally caved in. How is she looking over there? It's working pretty good. If you just make big piles, then I can come in with the snowblower. I mean, like, you can get it to, like, 10 feet deep. This thing will eat it. There we go. These are the type of piles I'm talking about. They're about max height right there. And we just disintegrate them. Well, we got most of the snow around this plane pushed over, and I'm going to fire her up, see if I can get her out. Get the turbine spinning. Yep, we're rolling. This baby's got enough power to get out of that little powder. But now we got to clear our two runways, the one that we land on and the one we take off. Here we go. Check that beast out. Hey, boss man, you want to switch? You run the wheel loader, I'll run this baby. All right. You don't have to tell me twice. Here's what I'm going to do, boss man. I'm going to bring all the snow into the middle, and then you'll just make a pass or two and shoot it off into the grass. Here we go. I got to get used to running this thing. Drop the plow down. Here we go. Now we're in business. We don't want to knock out those lights. That's kind of why I'm pushing it in. It would be a little tough to go out with all that snow without kind of damaging the runway. Heck yeah. We're rolling. This thing's so fast. Doing the runways, just straight shot. We should be able to knock this out pretty quick. Getting turned around, and then let's see, spinning a little bit. I think we're caught on the lip. I should be ready. One more pass, boss man. I'll have you start running up and down the middle. All right, perfect. I'm just about done clearing out where the plane was parked. We're making big piles. This is tough. Is it struggling at all? Nah, not that I got momentum now, but at the beginning it was a little tough. Here he goes. He's moving this right thing along. Is tanking through. This is a good plan you had. I think we should always approach it like that. The first plane is starting to roll. Oh, geez, the pilot's a little crazy driver. There goes a pilot. He's running on the runway. He's going to take off. Oh, duck. He almost hit me with his wing. Dang, that is awesome. They're taking off. Well, guys, we did our job for the most part. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button. I'll see you all in the next one. Eee.